Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This is a series of plotted tutorials using Matplotlib library in Python. Now in the last tutorial we wrote this after installing Matplotlib, how to see, I mean the steps involving the installation of Matplotlib, we wrote this small program and we plotted this sine curve over here. Now in this tutorial we'll make, we'll take this example, we'll start, we'll continue from this example and make sure that this curve looks, this, curve, this figure over here is, how do I put it? very uh, informative this is just plain and if you just, if you just have some access values and it, if it's more informative then it'll be easier for the user so that's what we're going to do today so we just in the today's tutorial we're just going to enhance this plot first let's put uh, make this plot available so plt dot plot x comma y and then plt dot sh uh, show to make sure that the plot actually appears appears appear to, on us so there, there it go. You have the plot appearing up. Now it's working fine. Now what we're going to do is that it's going to add um, label to the x-axis. So that is given by the command plt dot x label. Now let's write a value to it. Uh, angle in radians. Okay. And if I just run this, if you look at it. Now this x-axis has a label given by this sent uh, given by the string angle and radiance. It just cop popped up over there. Perfect. Now similarly, let's put a label for let's put in a label for the y-axis, y-axis and a title over here. Now the commands for that are very intuitive. So it's just y label for y-axis and instead of angle and radiance, we'll put this as magnitude. We'll put this as magnitude. Okay. And for title, it's simple plt dot title over here, and the title is let's put uh, since this is actually a sine curve, uh, plot of some uh, trigonometric functions. Okay, and if we run this, as we see, we have we have an x label, y label, and a title. Perfect. And now, now let's make this curve a little more interesting. Let's put some grid lines over here, thereby making this curve a little more easier to look at. Look at, I mean, with a little more information so that I can locate points perfectly, just like as if this curve is drawn on a graph sheet. And that's fairly easy. First, for that we need just this uh, command called as grid, and that will do. This will actually draw the grids. And there we go. Now we now if you look at this plot, this plot has all the grids. Now notice that these grids grid lines actually originate wherever there is actually a marker on the x x axis and on the y axis. Now if suppose if I had a, a power to you know control the these markers and number lo numbering locations, I can actually s de define how my grids will look like. Okay, how co close the house past the grids are actually spaced. I can actually control that. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the, I'm going to control those uh, um, grid spacings by using this command call, by using this com by using uh, I mean make, putting markers on the x-axis and the markers on x-axis are given by the command x ticks. So let this be as it is, and also similarly the markers on y-axis is given by the command plt dot y ticks. Okay, before uh, if we just run this. Our plot is kind of like this, no change at all, nothing, nothing. Now, if you, to make this, uh, to actually have some breaks on x-axis and y-axis, we have to pass the values and create values and pass to them. So let's you know, create some values. X, uh, br x, okay, let's write this as x numbers. Okay, so x numbers is actually uh, numbers linearly spaced, linearly spaced between zero and, uh, let's say seven and uh, that let me put 15 points 15 values so that numbers are spaced uh, like p spaced into sets of 0.5 and y numbers let it be np dot lin space between minus one and one okay let me have a point to spacing spacing in between them and if you look at it there the number of points we need will be 11 11 yeah 11 should work and now what I have to do is I just have to pass the in this number uh, for x ticks and this number for y ticks. So if I put x ticks over here, I mean not x ticks, x numbers. 
okay and if i put y numbers over here and run this up there we go now the grids are much more uh, finely placed and looks better now it looks better now what we're going to do uh, what we're going to do is that let's put a label for this curve so that uh, if somebody else wants to look at it it's easier so for that we need to do two things first we have to give a label and that command is actually given given uh, that uh, given as an argument in the plot line itself so let's give this as sign okay and now if we just run this this label won't pop up because we need what you call as the legend plt so we need this coming plt dot legend and we don't we didn't let's not put any arguments inside it this is more than sufficient and there we go if we put this now we have a legend over here saying this uh, this curve is actually the sine curve perfect and now uh, let's just do one more let's just let's just do one more thing uh, let's go let me go and change the color of this line uh, by default it chose the it chose the color to be blue let me put this to be red let's say for that I just have to put this option color equals in single code let me write R and put a comma okay now if I run this there we go now the plot is actually in red color sweet okay so uh, let's see so I just put a comment over here R means red color R means red color label is actually the label uh, PLT would put them put me the legend and final thing that we're going to do for uh, do in this uh, program in this uh, video is that uh, let's actually shrink the axis a little bit now on the y-axis there's a little bit of spacing above one and a little bit of spacing be uh, below minus one that's actually good because we're able to see we're able to see the x-axis I mean we're able to see the maximas coming out properly and especially on the x-axis we're able to uh, le let's say we don't want this extra spacing be before my uh, before minus z before zero and this extra spacing after 6.5 let's cut these two options off uh, for that we need what you call as the axis command so we can put this uh, in, uh, before before the grids. I mean, even if you put be before the grids, doesn't matter. It doesn't not matter much. Anyway, before the plot command, what you do is just put this plt dot axis a x i s. Okay, and uh, what I do over here, I just have to pass a, a list having four variables. First value is going to be the starting point of x axis. Second point will be the ending point of x axis third value will be the starting value of my I mean y axis so let it be 1.1 I'll give that and the fourth value would be the uh, ending value of my y axis so it's let me put this 1.1 so let me put a comment over here so it's x start x uh, end y start y end okay so these are the four arguments that you pass and pass over here as a tuple. I mean, sorry, as a tuple or a list. Either either way, it will work accordingly. So now, if I run this, there we go. Now this plot is shrunk reasonably. After zero, there is nothing else. Nothing, there's no extra spacing, and after six point five, there is no extra spacing. So this will work. This will work fine. Okay, now this plot is perfect, complete, and now what we can do is you can actually save this plot if you want using the save option over here. Or oh, there's also a command here to auto auto save it while uh, during the run. Okay, and you can also uh, do a lot more features with this. This is just actually a beginning. Now with the, in this video, we'll just we ju I just explained to you guys a lot more tools are available over here that will make the plot much more uh, user friendly and easy to look at. Okay. So in the next video we'll uh, we'll take another example and uh, do much multiple plots multiple plots uh, multiple plots and do a lot, do a lot more interesting stuff in in Python. Okay, now that's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Till then, take care.